combine together water, yeast, sugar, salt and flour to make a simple pizza dough. I was thinking if you put your ear close enough, you might be able to hear the rioting yeast. <laughs> no, I think yeast is a bit more civilised than that. Leave to rise for an hour. It needs to go somewhere warm. The warmest place will be in the airing cupboard. Hand it over, Great. if you trust me with it. I do trust you. <laughs> the dough is in the cupboard. Now for the topping, and we're each making our own pizza. I'm making a simple tomato sauce with a kick, whilst Anne's going creative. You think that sauce making is a fabulous waste of time? Not in the least. I'm sure your sauce will be worth every minute of it. I just think a pizza really is better with the fresh tomato baked. That sounds like a challenge to me. I'm hoping to win over the queen of all tomatoes with an international blend of Cuban, Kosovan, and British varieties. I want a good garlicky blast. There's a lot of mud here. I can't work like this. Go, go to a different kitchen. <laughs> Fry finely chopped chili and garlic in plenty of olive oil, along with the tasty tomatoes. Look how right that is. That is just in they go. A little salt, then reduce until thick and luscious. Mm. Nice little bite at the bottom of it. It should have that little. Mm. <laughs> Mm. Now for the pizza bases. Now, I can't spin it like an Italian pizza maker, I'm afraid. I am really That's disappointed it. to yeah, hear that. I, I think perhaps if you've never done it before, this is not the moment. That's mine. Right, <coughs> fine. Well, now you've practised, mine can be a perfect circle. Perfect. Mine is more circular than yours. OK, well, I'm cooking a square pizza anyway, so I don't care. <laughs> I finish my pizza with the punchy tomato sauce. I want a little bit more than a scraping. I want right. you to be able to kind of bite into it. A few anchovy fillets, a sprinkling of dried oregano, black pepper and a final glug of olive oil. In a bid to keep hold of her crown, Anne's not holding back with her topping. Basil in olive oil and two types of pepper. So looking very pretty already with the purple and the green. Mm. That's why I like the mixed colours, you know? Once a fashion guru, always a fashion guru. Quite a stunning tomato. It looks like the centre of the earth. <laughs> Let's just hope it's not style over content. Top with a soft Italian cheese. Let's find a gap for it. Oh, yes, yes, please, please. Twelve minutes in the oven and our pizzas are done. What a magnificent creation. Oh, they should both we... look amazing. They, should, they do both look quite uh, tasty. Quite five. <laughs> Indeed. OK, you, know you first. Doing. Fine. So whose tomato temptation will steal the crown? I can't believe it. You had a snarl, you had flaring nostrils when you looked at I hate pizza wheels. I like pizza wheels. Give me a sharp knife any day. Do you want me to pizza wick? Go on, you have... <laughs> Come on. This is a very complicated way of doing this. You insist on using a pizza wheel, this is how life is going to end up. There you go. I say, that does look rather nice. First, we're trying each other's. Mm. Mm. That is good. So sweet and fruity. And now mm. to our own creations. That is not bad at all. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Your tomatoes make a mean sauce. <laughs>